Hello guys. Welcome to Anime Sum Up. Today's anime is about a hero. After defeating an invading demon army, a magic-wielding war hero returns to discover that he is feared by his own people. So retiring as a hero, he now seeks new opportunities. So without any further delay, let's start. The world's strongest hero, Leo Demonheart, defeats the demon queen Echidna and her generals, the Elite Four, but later offers his services to Echidna to help rebuild her army, but is violently rejected by Echidna, of the Elite Four. Dragon General Edvard and Shadowless General Merns respect Leo for his warrior abilities. Beast General Lily was knocked out by Leo and by her species traditions, she considers him her future husband. Sorcerer General Shutina respects him for defeating her in a magic duel. Considering this, they decide to interview Leo. He reveals that after defeating Echidna, a rumor spread among humans that he was planning to become the next demon king. Forced by his own terrified citizens, the king reluctantly exiled Leo. Disillusioned with humans, Leo lived aimlessly for a while until he heard Echidna was trying to recruit soldiers to her defeated army, and decided to join her instead. The four decide to hire Leo to handle the entire rebuilding of the army without Echidna's knowledge. If he produces good results, they will try to convince Echidna to officially hire him. Leo hopes to one day speak to Echidna and learn why in the midst of the war. Did she prevent her soldiers from killing humans unnecessarily, and potentially cause her own defeat? Leo realizes most of the army's problems were caused by their leaders returning to the demon world to recover from injuries, given to them by Leo during the war, leaving only Shudina who knows how to run an army, and she is exhausted. Leo decides to take over replenishing the mana reactor, that powers the castle's magic items, a task that usually only Shudina could perform due to the wavelength of her magic. Shudina teasingly demands a kiss if he performs well. Along the way, he sees the young servant woman Dianet. Leo annoys Shudina by taking an unusually long break and she threatens to fire him. At that moment, Dianet appears having replenished the reactors. Leo explains he crafted a talisman tuned to Shudina's magic wavelength, allowing anyone with mana to replenish the reactors, and removing the burden from Shudina. Shudina realizes Dianet, along with other servants, are all worried about her and want to help. Shudina is forced to admit that Leo solved one of her problems. Leo returns to work but first tries to claim his promised kiss, only to be punished by the embarrassed Shudina. With food and equipment stores running low, Leo has to ensure the next shipment arrives safely. He is worried that Lily submitted a guard mission proposal, that simply instructs everyone to have fun together. The dragon folk who reside in the Largo Sea provide the demon army with food and other resources. Lily is too childish to ensure safe supply lines, so Leo is sent and finds nothing is organized properly and a single supply mission takes over a week. Realizing that Lily wants to do well and is held back by her immaturity, Leo fakes a snake bite and sends Lily into the mountains for healing herbs. By setting problems that require her to think logically and use her workers effectively, he hopes to force a more mature way of thinking on her. Unfortunately, when Lily transforms into her guardian form Fenrir, she is able to bypass the problems with stubborn strength. In disguise, Leo attempts to give her logistical hints, his plan is a failure as Lily gets the herbs anyway. He is surprised when Lily actually learns from the experience, as it turns out she just needed to be bluntly told the right way to do things. Leo realizes he underestimated her intelligence, Shudina is pleased at Lily's progress. In order to hide his identity from Echidna, Leo has been disguising himself at work as Black Knight Onyx, but his achievements have come to the attention of Echidna who demands a meeting with Black Knight Onyx immediately. Leo meets Echidna and finds she has planned a dinner to reward his work. Forced to remove his helmet, he alters his face with magic. Shutina hopes Leo and Echidna don't become close. Leo asks why she rejected hero Leo from her army, and is met with a furious response, that Leo unwittingly prevented her capturing the Philosopher's Stone from Renale's city. Leo had not known Echidna wanted the stone, as he knows its powers are greatly exaggerated through rumor. Echidna reveals the demon world is a polluted wasteland, where everyone fights over resources, so she wants the stone to make the land fertile so the fighting can stop. Thus she was forced to battle humanity as she knows they would never just hand over a holy relic. She also reveals while she hates Leo for stopping her, she respects him for doing his job to protect humanity. Leo realizes Echidna is a kind person forced to commit evil acts for a good reason, and finds he wants to help her. Echidna asks why he, a human, joined her army and he almost tells her the truth about being Leo, but they are interrupted by Shutina and Lily. Mearns has left to go on a journey and Edward is accepting blame for losing the war, and plans to take his own life. Echidna goes to talk to Edward while Leo tracks down Mearns, finding him, 
Mearns admits he is scared that in three days he will have to start interviewing applicants for positions in the army, but he is terrible at conversations and so demands Leo teach him how to talk to others, with Mearns returned to the castle. Echidna is not surprised he was under so much stress, given that Mearns was a supporter of totally eliminating humans, and now has to work with them. Edward truly had tried to kill himself, but his impenetrable dragon skin kept saving him, so he is now being watched at all times by his daughter Julieta. Leo forces Mearns to masquerade as a waitress in the soldier's food hall, forcing him to talk to all kinds of people, while also revealing he too was useless at talking to people, while he was learning to be the hero, but he learned through practice and experience. Mearns practices on a group of ill-behaved werewolf mercenaries. When they turn lecherous, he is forced to discipline them, almost revealing his identity. Nevertheless, Mearns learns the basics of conversation. During a practice interview to hone his skills, Mearns asks Leo why he really joined their army, when his desire to see humanity destroyed is a blatant lie. Mearns explains he is half demon, half human and was sold into childhood slavery. Seeing Echidna's war he volunteered to join, but was disappointed she spared more humans than she killed. Mearns briefly considered assassinating Echidna to lead the army himself, but resigned himself to being a general until he was defeated by Leo, who told him to experience the world, not as an assassin, but for fun. Leo decides to reveal his biggest secret. Leo is much older than anyone realizes, over 1000 years, and was born in modern Tokyo where magic didn't exist yet. Demons invaded from the demon world so human scientists created 12 living weapons called demon hearts, including Leo. The other demon hearts all died in battle while Leo was made more durable, and still appears as a young man even after the modern world was left behind, and society became what it is today. Leo was tired of fighting and of being unable to die, so when humanity rejected him he was filled with joy as he could finally have fun, and since joining the demon army seemed like the most exciting thing to do, that's what he did, since meeting Echidna and the generals, he genuinely likes them and wants to help them. Leo also points out Mearns is already a good communicator because he knows how to listen and his responses are always honest, so he will do just fine running the interviews. Leo learns from Julieta that Edvard can't understand why his soldiers keep losing. Leo deduces that because Edvard is a naturally gifted warrior, he can't understand others are not as gifted, so he assumes he just didn't train them hard enough. This assumption has gotten worse since he lost to Leo as he now trains his soldiers to such extremes that they pass out. Leo promises to Julieta and Echidna that he will help Edvard. Mearns informs Shudina and Lily about Leo's past, but they decide to continue trusting him. Several relics from the Age of Technology are discovered. Machine golems called Phantom Nines as strong as high-ranked demons which Leo decides to use to help Edvard. He sets the Phantom to attack Edvard, realizing too late that its safety restrictions have malfunctioned forcing him to step in and tell Edvard how to defeat it. Sensing its own defeat, the Phantom Nine remotely activates the other Phantom Nines to provide assistance. Regardless, they are destroyed by Echidna, having required Leo's assistance against an enemy he didn't understand. Edvard realizes that he can't judge his soldiers against his standards, and had been training them all wrong. So he apologizes to them and is forgiven. Echidna has too much fun destroying the Phantoms with Mearns suspecting, it is her form of stress relief. As Black Knight Onyx, Leo is to be promoted by Echidna. He plans to reveal his identity to Echidna with Shudina's help. Leo reads a book about Ibrad, a famous demon known as the Joiner of Hands, which is also one of Echidna's favorite books. Leo is amused as he actually knew Ibrad in Tokyo. Back in 2060 Ibrad was an imp demon who came to Earth for a better life, but misunderstandings between humans and demons started the war. When Leo heard Ibrad was preaching coexistence, trying to stop the fighting, he sought him out. It was Ibrad who first told Leo that, since he was designed to fight demons, he would have no purpose once the war ended but due to his immortality he would live unneeded and completely alone. Leo had never considered this before. Ibrad was imprisoned but swore to continue preaching coexistence, until the war ended and made Leo promise to find a way to enjoy living. Once he no longer had to fight, Leo never saw him again but always remembered what Ibrad told him and now humans finally no longer want him he has found a way to enjoy living. The portal to the demon world begins to collapse forcing Echidna to consider returning to the demon world immediately. Leo reveals the Philosopher's Stone is a modern engine that uses a black hole to produce unlimited energy, and cannot be used to make the demon world fertile again. He also reveals there are two on Earth, so to avoid war, Echidna need only locate the second one, having learnt he is Leo. Echidna eventually calms down after the four generals explain everything. 
Leo leads them to the second stone in the mountains, and explains that the engine requires a user guide. Echidna plans to make peace with humanity so they can search for a guide together and activate both engines, one for humanity and one for the demon world. Echidna and Leo argue constantly which ends in a snowball fight, to the general's relief. Leo privately reveals to Echidna that due to his inbuilt purpose to protect humanity, he might go insane and cause war after war just so he can save humanity over and over again. Leo suddenly reveals the engines are actually the power sources of the demon hearts. He thus challenges Echidna and the four generals to prove their resolve. All they must do is defeat him in battle, remove his heart, and use it to make peace with humanity and rejuvenate the demon world. If they fail, the demon world will remain a wasteland and he will personally destroy humanity. Attacking Echidna. Leo claims that since war gives his existence meaning, he will save humanity even if he is the threat they need saving from. Edvard is injured protecting Shudina. Leo is tired of protecting humanity and wants to die, but his immortality prevents it. So he will destroy everything so there is nothing for him to protect. Lily tries to reason with him, but he attacks her despite her being unarmed. Realizing he truly means to kill them, they begin fighting to kill him too. Edvard is defeated and Echidna realizes with his ability, hyper-reactive skill improvement, he can copy and improve any style of attack and defense. So after thousands of years of fighting, he is impervious to all damage. Mearns accuses him of lying about wanting to either die, or destroy the world as it contradicts his attempts to help achieve peace. Leo freezes Mearns in ice. Lily unwillingly fights him in her Fenrir form, but is defeated. Believing she knows Leo's true motivations, Echidna decides to use an ultimate spell she inherited from her father Cycreus, specifically designed to defeat a hero by disabling all their abilities for a single moment. Shutina distracts Leo for long enough, but is defeated right before Leo is hit by the spell titled Hero Binding, Anti-Leo. Right before the spell hits, Leo thanks Echidna. Leo sees his entire life flash before his eyes, from the time of his creation through endless series of war followed by times of peace. As thousands of years passed, he realized he hated the idea of peace and wanted the world to be continuously in danger. One day, he had the idea that he could be the one to threaten humanity, and so he began creating a new demon heart series that would destroy the world rather than protect it. When the demon world invaded, he destroyed his unfinished creations as he realized he had gone insane. To protect humanity, he had to die, but he also had to leave his philosopher stone heart to someone worthy of it. That was when he first met Echidna and realized she was the successor he needed. So he first defeated her, then joined her army to learn more about her and now has chosen her to assist him with committing suicide. Echidna sees the happiness in his eyes and realizes all along he wanted someone to save him. Deciding to give him a death worthy of a hero, Echidna keeps him powerless allowing the four generals to finally kill him. As Leo lies dying, he disables his internal security giving them 300 seconds to remove his philosopher's stone. Echidna asks if he has any regrets, but he merely apologizes for causing trouble. Echidna almost removes the stone only to suddenly change her mind, and announces Leo has passed his probation, and is hired as her ambassador to the human world in charge of peace between demons and humans. Leo begs to die, so Shudina demands to know his real motive. He admits by even contemplating destroying humanity, he has dangerously evolved beyond the orders his creators programmed him with. By that logic, Shudina tells him to evolve the ability to ignore the programming. Doubtful Leo attempts to do so and is successful in deleting the order to protect humanity that has driven him mad for 3000 years. As time runs out, Leo seals the stone inside him forever and he happily agrees to Echidna's request. Echidna later asks if he regrets losing what might have been his one chance to die. He denies it as he is happy to be helping Echidna. They are suddenly interrupted by Julieta, who at first thinks they are having a romantic moment which Echidna violently denies. Julieta reveals while they were gone. A mountain of work has piled up requiring their attention. Leo begins working as he is glad that he was finally able to quit harrowing. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.